are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna look at a Brinkley 3100C. Come on in. So the screens work in two directions. That's your blackout shade. That's your bug screen. Now, a lot of people, you know, the big concern is, do these windows open up far enough? I mean, that, that's a pretty good, pretty good opening. It's enough to let a breeze in. All right, so the, the next cool thing <coughs> about the Brinkley is, boom, here's where all your utensils go, your forks, your knives, your special spatulas that you buy in Tennessee from free places. The next cool thing, this that is a bench, is also your storage. Of course, everything's got straps to stay in place. I feel like you could pull it, put that up to the couch and, you know, use it as a table if you wanted to. Right? Yep. These seats, they cushion your bum. Just an amazing seat. And it, it's real leather. It, it's not that fake PVC stuff. So, moving over to the couch, you've got wireless charger in the center. I think these are made by Thomas Paine, but you've got mm -hmm. plenty of storage there. One thing that I like is these are a manual recline, so it doesn't take electricity to recline the thing. Plus, you know, electricity is like, uh, it's too slow. Um, again, you've got your overhead storage. On a lot of rigs and including ours, these pup lights are, you have to, you have to push them. And when you're down here, you can't reach it when you need it. Mm -hmm. So what Brinkley did, they put a switch on the wall. Just fantastic idea. Can you close the blinds from right there? I can absolutely close the blinds. That's the other thing on ours we can't do. <laughs> and I can turn that light off. And I can see out the window. Oh, I don't want to see out that window. All right, the floor. I challenge you to find where this slide is. That you, it's a, it's a flat. And that this is, this is not just some cheap overlay. Th this is a true vinyl that's done the same as the floor. I mean, it's. And it, it's spatially correct. It looks like another plank in the floor. Mm -hmm. All right, in our east to west, in order for me to turn this light on, you have to hit a button right there. This one still has the button so that you can disable the on off switch. But on ours, you have to get so close to it because it's so round and the button is back on this side. By the time you look to hit the button, you hit your head. So I like the fact that it's just on a switch. Nice. And I like the fact 
that I could work from this seating position. Yes. And I like that. All right, so on the, the back of the rig, you've got your standard storage. Everything is soft close, magnetic. You get to the same shades um, on, on the back sides. These pendants, they are controlled by push buttons, but the pendant lights above, again, are controlled by an on-off switch. All right. So the, the end table here is a true piece of furniture. This is metal with actual wood. Again, it's a magnetic closure. It's got a shock in it. It's got adjustable hinges. A lot of space in there. And again, it is soft close. On the back, you've got dual power outlets plus USB and USB-C. That, I haven't seen that in one before. Couch is a trifold pullout. Um, so somewhere between a queen and a full. And again, you, you've got your windows that, that go out with the shades. All right, again, up here, you've got your standard storage, soft close. This is a televator. Um, and if you notice, you've got a big window right behind it. This window doesn't open, but underneath here, you've got all your, your power, your cable TV, um, it's got a shelf so that you can put like a DVD player on it. The TV comes out of its, if you'll notice, it's got nice little rollers there, so it won't scratch the wood up. It's not the fastest thing in the world. This is an Insignia. It comes with a smart TV. Um, so you don't have to worry about going out and replacing it with a Roku. It's already built in. It's got a nice little storage area right underneath it. I guess you could put DVDs or whatnot in there. And then a 5200 BTU fireplace. Again, call your attention to the floor. It is a flat fold. And if you notice the overlap right here, it's overlapped to where it looks like the plank is correct. It's, it's a beautiful rig. All right, so with the televator down, you have this nice storage area. And for us, the way that I would see that we would use this is we either use the kitchen island or the work surface to put our bags and stuff as we come in. This would be a perfect place for that. Moving over, you've got two really nice wide sections with a Furion three burner gas stove. And this is, this is cast iron. This is not flimsy drawers. Massive drawers. That's the remote. Um, these, um, on production units, these are actually going to be dovetailed. There's a storage space underneath the, the oven. This is the oven. We call it the bread storage, but it it's a pretty good size unit. A lot bigger than ours. It's got knob lighting, it's got a light on the inside, and you've got a big storage area there. And then this is something else that is really cool. This was designed to be used as a spice rack. So you just lay your spices down and there you go. Now, ordinarily you would see the utensils here, but because they're built into the table, it frees this up. Love that. All right. The refrigerator, again, is a Purion refrigerator. And 
it's bolted in. It, it's not just a piece of wood across the top kind of sandwiching it down. This is actually built into the frame so you don't have to worry about it walking itself out. Massive. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 16 cubic foot, um, 12 volt, and not a whole lot more to say about, about that other than it's a refrigerator. Now, again, microwave is your standard microwave. And nice little treatment there just to take a blank space and make something interesting. These countertops, if I'm not mistaken, they're Corian. And you can see the, the veins that are, that are in it. So it gives it a little depth. It's not just a pure white surface. So with that, <clears throat> that brings us to the center island. Again, you've got, I call this a, a standard faucet. This is what came in ours, but it was in black. Um, up, down. You've got your standard roll-up mat. This, however, normally you see stainless steel. This is what I call black chrome, and it is... It's absolutely beautiful. This thing's wide too. I mean, it, it's a good, it's a good four inches wider on on either side. Mm -hmm. I think someone I heard someone say it was two feet on each side of the sink. Yeah, it's it's big. So, <clears throat> one of the other innovative things that they've done, you get dual garbage cans. The innovation comes in this drawer in which that's your paper towel holder so you don't have to worry about your paper towels flying all over the place when you're driving down the road plus you have extra storage on on the back there and you can take it outside if you want and you can take it outside got a nice little ledge right there now, there's a, a ledge that you can keep I don't know, cleaning brushes or something like that. The underside is very clean. Everything is run through the hole to the underbelly. Shut off valves that are reachable on all water lines. These doors are soft close. Again, really big. The drawers in this thing are huge. It, this is something that I wish all manufacturers offered, or at least all dealers. Um, they actually put all their manuals and everything in, in a bag for you when you take delivery. All right, so also part of the island is the placement of a built-in dog food bowl. We keep ours over by the stairs, and I can't tell you how many times we've knocked it over. This is integrated into the island, another, safe, or another space saving feature. And it just closes down in there. The front side, very clean. You've got power outlets on both sides of the, the island. Nice. Now, let's take a look at the pantry. And if you'll notice, they've put little stops right here so that it doesn't bang into the refrigerator. These shelves are 100% adjustable. So you can, I'm not actually gonna move them, but you can, you can undo them and move them in height. It's all backlit through with LED so you can see everything that's in there. It's got a power outlet in case you decided to put your coffee maker or whatnot in here. You could put a crock pot, let it sit, your Instapot. A lot of storage. This is, uh, this right here. All right, y'all, you got to give me a like for this. I'm down on the floor. This is access to your roof so anything that you put on your roof you've got a chase way down into the the rv for it genius this would be a great place to put you could put your pet link in here run your external antenna through the chase way or starlink again all magnetic closure nice storage 
there, coffee, juice bar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, another outlet with uh, 120 volt with USB and USB-C. Two additional, that's another thing. It comes with a Furion Vision S already installed. And then there's one of your fuse panels. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the control center. Now, Maria's been dying to talk about the lighting and everything in here. <clears throat> this has the Lippert One control system in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the ceiling light button and have Maria actually record the ceiling lights. So on pushing the button, you turn them on and off. The pendants. Now, here's the really cool thing. The house lights are on a dimmer. That's awesome. So, in the control panel, in the control panel, you've got your, your standard buttons here. Um, you have your always on LED for your fresh tank, black tank, and gray tank, and then your batteries. So you don't have to push a button to see those. But you've got your awning lights, your ceilings. You know, you, basically these are your, your lights outside um, other than the ceiling. But then you've got your pendant island. And if you look at the floor real quick, see that glow underneath it? It's controlled by a, a button too, so you can have your, your underglow turned on or off. Then you've got your awnings and, and your slides with your, it's got a built-in max there. It's got a Furion gauge that shows you how much power and everything you're using. We right. love the fact that this is in a closed yes. cabinet. That is genius. A little area, you know, the, the main thing here is this is where your, your breaker panel is. I'm sure you could utilize the space uh, above. Uh, but the main thing is it covers up your breaker panel. It does. It, it it's not out to where everybody can see it. Very seamless and nice. Moving over <coughs> to this way. You've got your raised stairs to where you could actually leave your shoes underneath there. Uh, I like the fact that the steps are bigger because I have pretty big feet and the steps in our fifth wheel are about that big. And so my heel typically hits the, the stair in front of it. So Mine does too. Let's go up into the bathroom. This is not a small space, but we're not going to get two people in here. You've got your storage here, which is great for towels and things. Um, your Furion on-demand water heater is located here with all its settings. Again, soft close. You've got three towel hooks. Me, I like to hang my jeans on the center one and we put towels on the other side. Um, full foot flush porcelain toilet. It comes with the toilet paper holder and it's magnetic. So you don't have to worry about it falling all over the place. Put the if, paper, the toilet paper there and extra rolls right there. Yeah. In case you didn't know. If you notice on the water supply line, all the fittings are brass and every water fitting has a shutoff valve. Moving over to the sink, you've got your standard uh, GFI plug. This medicine cabinet is crazy they've actually sunk it in between the studs of the framing so it's it's hand deep i mean it it's a good size medicine cabinet it has under lighting on it nice fixtures nice countertop Big sink. it's bigger than ours uh, again Now to what? 
Well, even utilize every inch of this space. Like, yeah. I don't know what you put there, but maybe rings or something. Toothbrush. Um, toothbrush. My day doesn't start well if I don't have a good shower. And I know there are people out there that say, oh, you got to conserve water. Well, I don't. Um, I take my shower. It has to be a warm shower. It's got to be at least four or five minutes. And this, look at the texture on this. This is a, a solid fiberglass shell, but it, it's got a beautiful texture on it. It's got, it's got hanging baskets for your shampoos and, and body washes and stuff. I can't tell you how many pump bottles have fallen off of a shelf like that one and busted the pump. So these are just really nice. And they've actually taken the extra step and they've added, um, I'm not gonna say a gasket, but that's not just drilled in. They've got that filled so it doesn't leak. And you've got this massive water control system here with, with the wand that, that sprays separate. Now, I'm, I'm 6'1". If you'll notice the, the rise on this, maybe an inch and a half, two inches. It's an easy step in. This is huge. I mean... Wash your hair. Now, the big thing is, I like to dry off in the shower. So, I, I do the towel like that, and then I do the towel like that, and then I do the towel like that, and then I get out. Um, this has got plenty of room to shimmy around in. It's a, a three-door slide. All right, another ingenious idea. This is a pocket door. But you know how if you have a pocket door, you have the strap, you got to remember to make sure the strap's on there. Sometimes you forget the strap and you come in and it's banged all over the place. This has got a control built into it. That when it closes, it self-locks. Now into the bedroom. First thing when you come through the door, it, it's a full size door, but then you've got these guys here that are built in to hang house coats or whatnot. Magnetic can control for the, the door so that when it d does open up, it, it opens up. All right, on this side, you've got another Insignia smart TV. You've got the same type of blackout shades, shades, opens up the same. Now this is the really cool part. You've got a slide open workspace here. This could be considered your second workspace in, in this unit. This little thing here, we will get to in just a minute. The drawers, again, they're all good sized drawers not going to go through all of those but there's a lot of them there's a lot of them moving over here you've got these little cubbies i don't know if y'all saw that or not but the automatic light just came on in there what we'll do is we'll close this we'll get that to automatically come on this is your your washer and dryer you notice everything is motion activated Massive storage. I've been told that you can put your washer down here. You don't have to take this shelf out and then the dryer goes up here. That's cool. Big shelf up top. Um, LED light is built into the clothes rack bar. Shoe rack. Built in. Okay. You've got your power outlet. You have a Dyson prep. And I don't know if you can see up there how all of this is studded out and braced. But this is, this is really, really well done. So it doesn't break, doesn't fall down. Remember we were talking about these that came out of the dresser? Well, what these are, these go right there. And it's got a magnet built into it. There's a metal piece right here. That's to put your CPAP 
so that you have a place to put it in the middle of the night or if you've got something that's gonna is larger than what this shelf supports there's one for each side we use a dehumidifier in our bedroom yep um again you you've got your curtains light within hand reach great reading lights all right on this side oh, let me show let me show <laughs> so when you get out of bed the you don't have to turn off the lights on everywhere. It just does an underglow here so you can get to the bathroom. And you can turn it off if you want to. You don't yep. want lights coming on. In the it's got a button right there that turns it on and off. And then you've got a little bookshelf here for Book. magazines. This unit does, does have two AC units. I think the second one is optional. Um, it's whole house piped so you can either use a dump valve right there and dump it in here or you can close it and it'll circulate through the whole thing the biggest thing on this when you have the lights on you also get a dimmer in here so you can dim these lights the last thing that we're going to show y'all on this is the number one thing that most RVers replace before they do anything else. Look at this mattress. This is a 10 inch foam mattress with a cotton cover. Y'all, th this is a residential mattress. On the underside, this one actually has shocks that work. Um, takes very little effort to get the mattress up. Um, but you've got the full storage there. But if you notice on the underside right there, again, you've got your outlets, you've got your USB and USB-C. You've got one on both sides. And there's another one right there. That light came on. All right, so the outside review. First, they use a Lippert door. That Lippert door also automatically comes with a dog screen so you don't have to worry about your dog tearing that up it comes with the next generation of moride steps these fold up like that and in they go these are really light y'all the big thing here is on ours they don't move these grooves catch dirt and you end up throwing the dirt back inside. The next thing that is innovative on this is the handle. So it extends all the way down to the first step, which allows you easy access into the rig. It comes with uh, remote control access into the unit already, as well as your, your dual key. It has the you can get into this with a Bluetooth app on your phone, just like all the controls are, are controllable from your phone. <clears throat> on the exterior, you notice all the windows, they're all frameless. The major design feature that I like the most is the fact that they've used graphic to change the way that the window actually looks. So instead of it just being a square, They've used decals to change the look of it. All right, so the inside. This inside is absolutely huge. Uh, you have your battery disconnect on this side. This is for your slides, slides. in case. Um, the one thing that they've done here, that's access to to everything. Notice those gray tubes there. Those are your heat vents. They're different diameters based on where they go in the rig and they are puncture and crush proof. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you pan to the left just a little bit, up to the top, you'll see those PEX lines there. They use brass fittings and everything. You've got your satellite power. And finally, somebody put water access on the right side of a rig because I've never had to wash 
my Blackstone on the service side. It's always on the door side. You've got a built-in pass-through right here to route cables up through for like if you wanted to use this for an extension cord. Notice the hidden magnets. Their body color, you can barely see them. So you've got 30 pound propane tank comes standard on both sides. It will fit a 40 pounder and the hoses are long enough to reach that. The ground control three system from Lippert is placed on the outside of the frame to give it a wider stance. All right, it comes with a Rhino Box 21,000 pound um, pin box. Brinkley has said that they will warranty and absolutely cover anybody that swaps out um, a Goose Box or a Gen Y. And you can actually order this with a Gen Y instead of the, the Rhino Box. Slam latches on the front cap storage. And these things here, they don't hang down and hit you in the head. And it holds the door up. Absolutely ingenious. All right, so on the inside, um, you get your Furion solar controller. There's 375 watts of solar already on the, the roof. It comes with tire link, which is through one control or Lippert. You've got a battery disconnect, and then up top, you've got a disconnect from your solar system. And it's already pre-wired for an inverter prep, and that inverter powers every outlet in the rig, not just one. You've got your pre-wire for generator and it can support up to an Onan 5500, but they put in a, a different generator that supposedly is better, quieter. All right, so due to the quality construction of this thing, old girl's got a little weight on her. Um, you know, dry weight is just a scotch over 12,000 pounds. Cargo carry capabilities just a little bit over 2500 now if you notice this slide again I'm 61 I can step under the slide I am not banging my head on it now I may hit my head on this but due to the the design of the way that they open their doors that's not an issue so the first one opens up the other one swings out that way you have full access to this. So they use a Nautilus system. They have a built-in, I want to say it is 60 feet, but I could be wrong. It could be 40 feet. Water hose that pulls out and that goes to your, your water connection. It routes back through here, goes into your, your water. Again, brass fittings on everything. For those of y'all that are like me that thought, well, if I pulled the hose out, where am I going to put it? They thought of that too. They put another one of the access points right there so you can run your, your stuff through there. It does have ground control three. It's an electric uh, level system. It does come with a Furion on-demand water heater. Tankless. Love that. Got your heater there standard 50 amp service all right so back here we have a 3,000 pound tow capability with a 300 pound payload meaning this hitch will support something that weighs 300 pounds but it will tow the equivalent of 300 so 3,000 3, the rear storage on this thing underneath the couch I don't remember how many square feet they said this was, but it's huge. Um, you've got power back here. You've got an automatic light. It's actually got a, a, I think, access to where you could go up underneath the couch and in the front. But if you're running Starlink, you could put your Starlink on the ladder and then plug it in right here and you're good to go. You don't have to route cables no more. Again, it's got dual brake turn backup lights. And where we're at today is A&L RV sales 
and a huge shout out to them for letting us take up this time today and and do it but it, as you can see this masking of the windows is, is just gorgeous that's the furion system these these letters right here they're raised that's that's not flat that's I mean, it, it's absolutely a beautiful rig. Absolutely beautiful. The the roof on this, I don't know what the material is called, but it's a zero maintenance, 25 years. Of course, go to brinkley.com, look up the, the specs on, on their stuff. All right, so this thing rides on four. These are custom made 17 and a half inch wheels wrapped in 16 ply Cooper work series um, tires. Now, I've heard, I know the, the toy hauler, <clears throat> but I've heard that they are also gonna add sumo springs as factory on this thing. While I'm under here, I'll go ahead and tell you, it has a 45 gallon black tank and it has two 45 gallon gray tanks that are plumbed together so you get total capacity of 90 gallons and it has electric dump valves so you don't have pull handles. The suspension on this is a Cree 3000. Each one of the axles are 7,000 pound axles with 8,000 pound leaf springs. And from my understanding, it does have wet bolts already included in that uh, Cree 3000. So that wraps up the tour of the inside and the outside of the Brinkley. And if y'all get a chance, I encourage you to look at it in person, even if you're not considering buying one. It's absolutely what RV manufacturers should be shooting for.